Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Vox channel. Today, we're going to be building the high grade origin, the heavy Gundam, but in roll, roll out color version. So, you know, the heavy Gundam premium Bandai, they got like a first release where they released it as the same color as the FSD, which is probably like gray, brown, and black, I believe. And this one is just pure white. So, um, you know, it's in my backlog for a long time. I'm sorry I didn't make a video about it because let's be honest, I completely forgot that I have a P band die sitting in my backlog. That just what happens, okay? So we're just gonna open it first. So let's take a look of the, you know, actual product. So first we have an additional sheet, which is, um, there's like only one difference on it. So look at this. It's just a one, only one difference on it. That's different. And this is the color guide here. This one right here, we just get a instruction book from the Heavy Gundam, which is the first release of the uh, PD Bandai. And then you're just gonna quickly flick through it. So not really like much interesting part. So first we got an E-runner. So this is a shield. Obviously the whole runner is about shield. We have a C runner, which is the inner joint. We have some arm joint here, some hands option here, hand caps, and then we have some legs part here as well. A C2 runner contains the head. A B2 runner that contains the legs part, the um, bit of the arms part and the shoulders. A D runner contains a rival and the rocket launcher and the scope as well. An A runner that contains torso parts, backpack parts, feet parts, um, part of the feet, uh, torso parts. And then we have this huge cannon on the arm and then we have some part of the, uh, some of the legs here as well. And then we have the, the uh, machine gun parts as well. And then lastly, we have a B1 runner, which contains the antenna, the head, the beam sabers, the large cannon, and then we have the uh, legs part, shoulders part as usual, with the arms part, we have some waist parts, we have some, uh, yeah, mostly it's waist parts, yeah, and the heads part right here as well. And then we have poly caps, beam sabers, a, you know, the sticker for the eyes and the head, and then we have decals and lastly the clear parts for the eyes of the gampla so that's pretty much it and you know i'll see you guys in the review
Hey guys, welcome back to review of the Heavy Gundam Rawal color. So this is the finishing of it. Um, you know, the overall finish of, about the articulation and the finish and the color separation, I absolutely love it. But you know, the origin the origin series always have a problem is their decals. It is beautiful. The, you know, the marking on it is absolutely amazing. But the problem is they don't stick on the camera. It's just so annoying. I have to keep plugging it back and just pop out. And I just eventually give up even, even, you know, fixing it. So, you know, you, throughout the review, you're going to see some stickers popping out. And I will talk about it, which part is the one that popping out the most. But, you know, for me though, uh, the reason that I didn't buy the uh, Heavy Gundam uh, when it first came out because one, I already have that color on FSD and I don't really want to, you know, buy a Gunpla that have the exact same appearance. So I decided to buy this rollout color because, you know, it's a white and gray. So it, it kind of makes me feel like it's a little bit different so I can convince myself that I spend the money correctly. <laughs> It's just it's just a pretty stupid reason, but anyways, uh, we're just gonna jump into review. So we're just gonna start with the head first. So the head is just basically the recolor version of the RX seventy eight head. So the RX seventy eight originally is more on a white color, and this one you can clearly see is a little bit of gray. So it does create a difference. The most notice the most noticeable difference is the head actually have a clear sensor in it. So it is a blue clear piece that you put in it is a sensor thing and the articulation on the head is absolutely amazing it can lift up a on a pretty high angle so you can look up to a pretty great angle so as you can see it's a ball joint and it, the head have no interruption so you can move to whatever direction that you want and that's pretty much it and i must say though i always like the origin series they included the decals for the head you just have to take a closer look to it and appreciate that they give you some decals on the head so we're just now going to look at the chest so as you can see the chest here look at all those details of course this orange part here is a sticker and you can look at every part that we have the details and the decals on it you know lifting it on perfectly it's basically just a rx 78 chest with a slightly different so the cockpit is right here of course and then we have this additional piece that you as you can't really move though but the very good thing about the the torso is you can actually there's an extra joint for you to bend the waist so it's just really good so you can easily retract it back the whole upper body can move 360 freely without any interruption so basically you can you can do a lot of movement side to side though it's not really possible because there's no joint for it so you basically don't really have a side to side but i really appreciate that they give you a extra joint for you to bend the so you can you know kind of bend the gamma to make some other poses so i'm kind of appreciate about that now looking on the arms so of course but the arms is the part that i kind of feel weird the shoulders looks too small for me the scale is just look a little bit weird for me and so for the arms you can see that there's two different pieces of armor that you can put on so this is the normal one that you can put on and the other part here you can put on is this one is for attaching the shield of course the left arm they did give you an other piece that is exactly the same like this one but i prefer to put on this one and so the arms is just a very normal thing you can move up 360 around you can slightly bend to the front because there's a joint in it you can lift the arm up um, 90 degrees no problem because there's no interruption uh, you can bend up the arm as well uh, you can move the whole arm around and then you can move these hands option down here so the hands option unfortunately you only have a trigger hand that you can replace it with the beam rival other than that there's no ex uh, open hands or stuff like that for you to poses so it's kind of disappointing about the hands option of the gamper now we're gonna look at the waist and the legs so the waist here the color separation absolutely beautiful we have this hole right here that does nothing to cover it up so because you're not going to use it anyway so the front skirt you can lift up nine degrees and the side skirt you can lift up a little bit as well and of course the back skirt is completely not movable and about the about the legs though so the legs you can kick to the front you can kick to the back kick to the side kick and then you know bend on a pretty good angle as well and it does contain a rg-ish type design where the you know the knee the knees armor will retract the back once you move the legs and the legs so here's the thing that i don't like you see these stickers 
you see it. Uh, this is the stickers that I'm talking about. That the material is so bad that it doesn't actually stick on it, and it's just constantly popping out like this. And I basically have nothing to do about it uh, because I don't have those kind of small brushes for the glue to go in, so I can brush it down and you know make it stick on it for uh, make it, make it stick on it forever. So I'm basically running out of options. The this cap of armor here is very limited articulation. The feet down here can move left and right as well. It's a ball joint down here. I can see left and right as well. So please do some pen lining on the bottom of the feet because there's some details on the feet as well. So uh, I mean at the bottom of the feet, not on the feet, but there's some details down there. So just do your pen lining. Now the backpack though, it looks a bit similar to the FSD uh, beam savers down, beam savers at the side here. We have three thrusters that you can move freely because there's a ball joint in it. And then we have a new, we have a, Cannon down as I hear the cannon is something that I want to complain about the cannon is so sloppy that look at this It's so sloppy it, it doesn't even stick on it, but the prop but the good thing about this cannon is um, It does have a very stable Stable design so you can so when once you plug it in because it's, there's a lock that is a, there is a locked joint so you can so it prevents the cannon from popping out constantly so i think that is a pretty good design but but very disappointingly it is a very sloppy cannon so uh, i'm quite disappointed it's wasted on such a good design because you know they designed it to have a lock joint so the cannon doesn't pop out and it's just sloppy for some reason it's just uh, I don't, I, I'm running out of words. So now the accessory we're just going to briefly talk about is this is a trigger hand and the beam rival as well. So as you can see, the rival have no color separation. There's no orange part on the scope. So it's basically plain gray. So there's not much to talk about it. Of course, we have beam saber effect part for the beam saber. And then we have this shield right here. So the shield is kind of something that I admire because the shield if for those of you who watched the FSD Gundam FSD review before, you must see this shield because I I said it was a pretty good design as well. And the shield is it, it can fold up, so you can choose two different appearances. You can choose the fold up version or you can choose the extend version. To to equip the shield on the gunpla is pretty simple. There's two holes, so you can design so you can decide which kind which kind of design you want. If you want the fold up, if you want to use the folder shield as the display so like this uh, you use this hole right here and then you can plug it in so it looks a bit better on the scale but if you want to extend oops but if you want the extended one right here you can plug on the bottom hole and then now it will so now it will just put it on like this uh the shield there's one thing about it though the the top the top is absolutely fine but the bottom here it seems a little bit sloppy as you can see here it's a little bit sloppy, so I don't really like it about the about the tightness of basically most of the weapons. And then we have this flame launcher. It is a pretty large piece, so don't expect there's gonna be like RG type of articulation or details. Uh, I mean, it does have details on there. Look at this. So do the panel lining, you can see it. There's two movable places here. One is here and one is here. So I don't exactly know what this articulation is for. Uh, it is called a flame launcher that I don't know why it's called a flame launcher because it looks like a machine gun to me. <laughs> so to put this on, you have to bend the arm first, then you have to put the arm inside the so-called flame launcher, and then you have this top piece right here. You just basically just find a joint, plug it in, and boom, there you go. That's how you equip it on. And surprisingly, the gun, uh, even though this flame launcher is so heavy, the gunplate can still hold it. But you will see kind of like a, but you will see now that's going to be it. And what I saw right now is uh, it is a pretty good thing that I didn't see. I don't quite see there's going to be a difficulty for the gunplate to hold it or it kind of lean on to one direction. So I think that they designed the joint pretty well. So. It won't it is able to hold a flame launcher but not on but not a backpack cannon so guys this is the end of the review of the heavy gundam so hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to drop a like on my videos so subscribe to my channel as well and i will see you guys in another gunpla review goodbye